I am here to make a video on second grade curriculum. The stuff we are currently using and the stuff we will be using. What I do is we may finish our first grade workbook, I move on to the next one, which will be second grade. He struggled a little bit to remember things because he has epilepsy, ADHD, and autism, but now that he's getting like, getting like so fast, we've been moving really fast. So I'll show you what we haven't used yet and what we are using and why we haven't used it yet. Like here, so studies, we, we watch a video. They have videos you go to and you can watch the video. The teacher is teaching the lesson. And then you, you answer the questions in the book about it. My son's been struggling because he has a proxy of speech and has trouble telling me the, some of the answers. So sometimes I just discuss it with them and I put close to an answer I think he would pick. So we probably won't be doing this one next year, but I do have several studies that we do use that we absolutely have been loving. We did the first grade one, one, and we absolutely loved it. It's by Brain Quest. I will show you. But yeah, this one's pretty good. If you have an independent person who can watch the video and independently do this, this would give you something to independently do for them. And they make other books too. They make um, they make writing books. They make uh, winter kid winter academy books. Um, let's see what the other books they make. They make those. They make. Oh yeah, they make a really good math program. I've seen that one. They also have science. Like like, like this math program. I've seen people use it. And it's really cool. And then they have a science one. They have some other stuff too. Oh, yeah, here's the other social studies ones. So if you have an independent learner, this would be perfect for them. Just my son has a speech problem and can't answer questions on his own. Um, we don't do this every day, but you could do it. At, you could do this as a full curriculum. It's definitely a full curriculum. Big math grade one to two. From school zone. And like we go through here, sometimes we only do one or two problems on a page. Right now, my son's been really into money. So I've been skipping around and doing like, he's really into uh, that? like clocks. Really into clocks, we've been doing a lot of clocks and some money. Let's see, where are we in money? Yeah, we've been doing uh, money. We've been really into money. We've been doing money. He absolutely loves money. But yeah, we don't do this every day. We just skip around to the section that we need. It's like extra practice when he's struggling with something, to grab something, I will pull it out here. Or he just wants to do extra. I'm um, spelling. Spelling is good. It's a good spelling program. I highly recommend it. Yeah, and we just do this whenever he wants to do some spelling. Because all those other programs have spelling built in. So he doesn't really need that, this for spelling. So we do it as extra spelling. But you could do it as a full spelling curriculum. And then we have the big. And this, this goes to 1 to 3rd grade. Um, we have reading. Which is 1 to 2nd grade. And we've not done a whole lot in here. I mean, we've done stuff, but not a whole lot. Sometimes we do it, sometimes we don't. It all depends. Like, literally, we've only done about, like, this much in it. But we just we just do it whenever we need extra reading practice or we need extra practice. We just do it. It's there. Sometimes we do it, sometimes we don't. But he absolutely loves it, and this could be a full reading curriculum, too. So if you want something cheap and inexpensive, I highly recommend big big math, big reading, big math, big spelling, big reading. Especially if your kid say goes to ABA and they want to work on these things with him. Buy these workbooks. Have him go with them every day and bring him home so you can see his progress. So they're really cheap and inexpensive. And you can also get them by grade level. Like you want grade one, grade two, grade three, you can get them by grade level too. And if you get them on Amazon, they do the spiral binding for them, special for Amazon. So I highly recommend those. Um, the other one I'm gonna show you, huh, I wanna show you another one. Oh yeah, this is the other one that, that they do from school zone, which is a big science. We have not done this one yet, because we're doing another science program right at the moment. And then I'm gonna move into this one. Because right now, with all the appointments and everything we have going on, this is a little more intense one. I just got some science experiments in it and stuff to do, so I just wanted to do this one to give it our full invited attention. But yeah, this is for second and third grade. He's absolutely going to love it. He loves anything school zone. Even if we we um 
just realized it actually supplements who you absolutely loves it. So this is great. So like you could do these these all as one curriculum. You could even throw in say kindergarten, first grade or second grade, whatever the the grades are in along with these. Like if say they're doing this and they're in the first grade. You could do the first grade book with these and have some extra practice and stuff. But anyway, I absolutely love these. We haven't started that one yet. I don't want to keep it separate. Okay, we do. We were doing life for beginners. We started with the human body. Let me show you the human body. Human body. Hold on. Human body is in the middle somewhere. Like um, here's the nervous system. I'll give you an example of a, of a thing, and then you get. I talk about the nervous system, and you you, you just read stuff to your kids and do little activities. But now we're doing the animal one, and then we're going to do plants. I like plants to last because uh, there's a book I want to buy to go with it. I just haven't bought it yet. I'm hoping I can buy it next next month or in May. But yeah, right now we're working on marsupials. So we'll be doing um, marsupials. And we, we're learning about Australia, so I decided we do marsupials next, and then... We did this, we're just going in order, and whenever an animal piques our interest, we'll study it and do it. But yeah, it's really it's really cool. It's God design the life begins. This is a master books from I highly recommend anything master books. They have they have this one and I think they have another one. Um, they have another one that's uh, uh, Life for Beginners. I don't remember what it is because we don't have that one yet, but this one I really like. It's animals, plants, and the human body. And no, you don't have to do it in order. As you see, I don't do it in order. Um, this is the science that we're currently doing. Science grade grade two. Uh, 180 days of science. We did, we're doing this. We finished the 180, 180 days grade one already recently. And so we just started this one. And then we have grade three for this one. Um, we do second grade math. We are doing second grade math, because math is his strong suit. He moves to math really fast. He loves math. He gets math concepts great. He struggled a little bit in the beginning of math when he first started doing math, so we had to do kindergarten math twice. But when I found uh, Math Seed and Math Lesson for Living Education by Master Books, it really tied together nicely. He does this one on the computer, and then he goes here and he does the four worksheets. And I will also print them out on the website. For extra practice. But you don't have to get the workbook. If you don't have to buy the workbook for math. So you, so you can print the worksheets out online. And just do that. I just do extra. I just didn't know about the worksheets right away. When I found out about them. I already had the workbook. So I just do them together. For extra practice. But yeah. He's doing really well. We're on lesson. I should not be on. I, I, I tear out the pages and put them in a little packet one. And, okay, so we're on 112, and they go through. Then for this one, you start at grade one. You start at lesson one, which is kindergarten, and go all the way through. And once we finish this book, there's not a book for third grade, but there is third grade on the website. I will just print it out, and he will do them. And this is third grade one. But yeah, this is like Common Core learning, so style, kind of. So... I have them do it for him. And then we do this. There's two ways to do this. He does this book first. He does the grade lesson we're on. And we're on 9 right now. About two, When we finish 9, we'll go to number 10. But when we finish 9, we will not go directly to 9. And this one's really cool. What you do is... Let me see. Let me see a lesson. Like, you read a story about Charlie and Charlotte. And then you do pages corresponding to what they are talking about. I uh, tear them out and then tearing them out and making little packets because some days he struggles to do score. So I just kind of pack it. This is what you mainly have to do. Don't worry about all the extra. Don't worry about any of the other grades, levels, or any of the other work works, any other stuff. Just do a little packet. And he does like four or five sheets in his little packet and he's good to go. But yeah, once we finish uh, lesson nine, which is what we're on right now, we'll go here. And we will find lesson nine. 
and we'll do the practice sheets for lesson nine. And once we're done with lesson nine, we'll go back to lesson 10, and we'll come here and do lesson 10. But once we're done with lesson 10, we'll take our first quiz. And it tells you when to take the quizzes and everything. And there's like four quizzes in the back. But yeah, um, there's two ways you can do this. One, you could just do this book and you'll be perfectly fine. Then you could start grade three and do this practice sheet for grade two, along with grade three, so you don't forget anything they learned in grade two. That's the concept you could do. You could do it any way you want, but I pair them the two together just because Emmett takes a little bit longer to learn something. So just extra practice afterwards is good for him. Now is everything we currently work on. Um, we are not currently working on this one, but I highly recommend it, as I told you before. Um, the reason we are not working on this one is we are still finishing uh, reading lessons, grade one. He has like three more lessons to go to do, and then he's done. He is out of there. But I'm not going to do this one starting after that. Because this is, it says grade two, it says reading express, but it does not do the first one to 20 lessons. So, first 20 lessons are not featured in here, it starts at 21. So, I'm going to be doing those online and printing out the worksheets and doing those. And then I will be doing this book at 21. I might still print out some of the worksheets on the website if I need to, but I will be doing this workbook starting at lesson 21. But, and I will show you what's in here. You got comprehension, spelling, and grammar. So, I do got comprehension. Uh, spelling. And uh, grammar. Now, when you print from the website, you do not have the grammar portion. Grammar is not there. If you want grammar to be there, you need to get the workbooks. And this workbooks go up to grade five. So you start at grade, grade two and go to grade five. So if you want to have grammar and you don't want to have to go find grammar somewhere else to print out, I recommend you get this because grammar is included in this workbook. So for grade one and one to 20, I do will not have grammar sheets, but I have something I'm gonna do along with this that will fix the problem of having no grammar sheets. And that is Language Lessons for a Living Education. We'll be doing grade two. And we will be, and it has grammar in it. Let's see, look, I'll show you, it has grammar in it. Like you read a story, and the kids read the highlight part, if, I, if I'm understanding it correctly. And see, it's got grammar right here. She starts with what a noun is and everything. Uh, thing and then go through so it will have grammar for me and he will do this right along with the first 20 lessons of reading express he will continue this even after the 20 the 20 pages but it will fill in the gaps of the grammar practice that he does not have when he leaves the program and goes to worksheet and then when he starts lesson 21 and starts doing this book he will still do them together extra practice, extra along with it. And I don't mind doing that. He, he loved, uh, we did a uh, lesson, we did level one. He absolutely loved it. And this is level two. With level two, you just get one book. That's it. And you think with, le less, with level one, you got three books that went along with it. And the previous, next levels, you get a book that goes with it. But this is Christian based. It's by Master Books. So if you're Christian based, based and want to do it, I highly recommend it. But yeah, and this uh, currently goes, I think goes up to grade 9, 10. I don't know. They're adding levels all the time. When I got this, they only had it up to level 6. But they've added more levels that I've seen on their website. So I'm excited. Absolutely love this program. Um, we are doing geography grade 1 right now because I got them late in the year and we're still doing grade 1. But 180 days of geography, second grade. We have it for when we move on. We will move on and do it. We absolutely love the 180 days for geography and 
science. We've tried some of the other books and we just weren't as impressed. But we do like the geography and science. We are doing the magical first grade. We finished kindergarten, which took us a while to do because it was just extra work. And so now we're doing grade one and he's absolutely loving it. It's a Disney book. So we have second grade. We're just going to do second grade. And if you want to do this as an all-in-one curriculum, you could. You just have to tab off sections, but it doesn't have science or social studies. We'll have to find science and social studies. But you have to tab it off and figure out where each section is. So you can do one section a day. We just go through it one at a time, and one page at a time. So every day he'll open it up and just do whatever the first page is. And see there, like, see the different categories and stuff. See, and we just do, do like one page at a time. So, like, he will start with, yeah, he'll start here. And we'll just do these two pages and then put a sticker and go into the next page, next day. And so forth. So we don't even section out each section, so we're not doing it as a curriculum, it's just extra work. This one we do section out. We do one section, we do one page in every section a day. The Brain Quest book. We are working on first grade. He's almost done with it. He's like really, really almost done with it. It won't take him any time at all to finish it. He'll probably be done with it uh, next month. At the end of next month, if I download it, and we'll start this one. But he absolutely loves it. He got these for Christmas from a friend of mine. He got them grade one and grade two, and he absolutely loved it. I am so impressed by it. And this is a social studies we absolutely love. We, I highly recommend social studies. I was showing you for independent learners, but my son absolutely loves this social studies. And I'm going to show you the social studies. Just this little section is soft stays. And look, I'll show you some examples of so another book. See, it's just simple little stuff about soft stays. He absolutely loves it. It's great. And it just helps him a lot. Like, he finished first grade soft stays so fast, and he actually is retaining stuff. So I'm like impressed with him. Because he's never retained soft stays before. But yeah, this book is really cool. Um, this one has phonics, spelling and vocabulary, language arts, reading and writing, uh, subtraction so, uh, and adding, multiply, multiplication and fraction, those days, shapes and measures, science, time, money, and technology. And yep, anyway, it's just really cool. We absolutely love it. We're doing really well with it. And he also loves putting a sticker on his chart when he finishes it. So if you have a hard learner, I highly recommend this. And if we finish second grade and we're not done with and, and the Brain Quest book and we're not done with second grade as with other curriculums, then I will be getting him the Summer Brain Quest, which is between second and third grade, preparing him for third grade before we get the third grade one. But yeah, he absolutely loves these. They're great. I highly recommend them. There's lots of stuff in them. And yes, you can use it as a full curriculum. I just, it didn't last my son a year. So we can do it as a full curriculum. But I'm going to tell you right now, it's not going to last the whole school year. Because he got the first grade one in, in for Christmas. Started it right after he got it. And January, February, March. And next month is April. He will have it done. He had it done in four months. So if you're okay with your kid going on to the next one after four months, then go for it. Just the two, my son's special needs and he experienced it in four months. So, like, but yeah, it's really cool. I highly recommend Brain Quest workbooks. Especially the new advice edition. They did really well. Technology and science and those things being added. Love it. So this is everything that we are currently either doing or or working on doing or uh, moving on to eventually but yeah that is everything thank you have a great day